the bench today we have a Martin D28 Dreadnought style guitar from 1997. It don't sound too good. And I, I don't think it's just because it has old strings. I think something's come unglued. I know that it's unglued over here. What happened was it was leaned up against the wall when someone backed up into it with their shoe. They pressed down and um, they heard a cracking sound and they cried. No! Not my prized Martin. Um, so the binding is loose, the purfling is loose, and the body has a pretty good crack. It goes right back together though. So I'm going to do this in a couple stages using a couple different types of glue. The... Oh yeah. But let's take a look inside. That's upside down because we're looking in a mirror. Well, yeah, there's a mirror inside inside the guitar. You can see the curving, the lining, the curved lining has some cracks. There. Yep. So I'd stick my hand in there to feel around, but you wouldn't be able to see. So that's one of the things I'm going to try to correct while I'm gluing it up is those little curvings there. Gotta devise a way to glue that and clamp it. That'll be a challenge. That's what I'm pressing on the top. There's, there's something missing. Yeah, there's, there's a little piece of wood missing there. Getting my hide glue ready. This is hot hide glue. It's not hot yet, though. I keep it in the fridge in a mason jar with a resealable lid. You can get these lids at Walmart instead of the old metal kind that get all rusty that has two pieces. Get rid of those. This is a baby bottle warmer. You gotta plug it in. It seems to help make it work. You fill up the reservoir with the amount of water that you need. In my case, I put it up to in between one and two minutes. Hit the start button and It'll start warming up. When it's all nice and hot, we'll work it into this crack. It's starting to steam. There's a little holder for the water. Wish would have known about this kind of thing a couple years ago. I've uh, only recently started using hide glue. I've, I mean, I've used the liquid hide glue that comes in a bottle like this, but it has a um, a shelf life. And what happens is, if you don't use it up in time, it could take weeks to dry, and that's not good when you're running a guitar repair shop. Other thing is this hot hide glue on, on cracks, old guitar cracks like we're working on today. I've tried other glues and they've I've had failure. But the hot hide glue hasn't failed me. 
when I need it. The other thing I would use it for, and I don't do it very often, is re-gluing the fretboard down onto a neck. A couple other reasons I have it. It's just good stuff. Here's the crack. Get some hot water. I've got some. There's my old liquid hide glue right there. Hot, hot stuff. Pump it in a little. don't want it to get on that purple too much. In fact, I want to make sure I clean that right off of there. I had these magnets ready to go too. I can stick one on the inside to help line things up, but I think things are lined up real nice here. Things are lined up good. Just want to make sure this doesn't get glued down. It's still loose. That's good. It's just three-quarter MDF cut on the bandsaw. I just traced the shape of the guitar uh, with a pencil onto the MDF board and cut it out on the bandsaw. Traced it over to this side and uh, I've got a nice clamping system. A couple pieces of tape hold it in place while I get the clamp in place and uh, and that only takes about a half hour to dry. For this, gluing the top back down, I'm going to just dip my feeler gauge down into the glue. Try to get it in there. There we go. A little more than I wanted to get there. Yeah, one more dip. Maybe just a little bit more.
get her clamped up. little squeeze out but I'm going to go around and clean that up. All right, I'm all done with the hide glue part of the job. been going around this channel here and using various files and such. I'll clean the edge. That one's the nut seeding file. Coarse. It has a coarse and a fine. That works good. I also have the saddle slot cleaning file. It can actually work a little better maybe around the edge. This little file works fine. It has a safe edge. And then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna need to clean the edges of the binding, bottom parts. Scrape any old glue off there. And I said I'm done with the hide glue part of it because there might be a lot of contaminants in here. You know, this is where the arm rests. A lot of oil and grease in here. And this Tight Bond Ultimate, Tight Bond 3 Ultimate Wood Glue seems to be a really good one. It's kind of like waterproof. The problem with high glue is, if you get this thing out in the sun, you got your arm here, you got a lot of sweat coming off, salt on your arm, getting right down here into this crack, you know, eventually, that's, that's what's going to happen right here. See, the finish has been worn away right here. That's from the arm. Um, and it's going to happen again unless I use a waterproof glue like the Type On Ultimate. Type On 3, waterproof. Superior strength. But I can clean it up with water. It's perfect glue for this job. Got all my scraping done. Everything's fitting in there nicely. Now I'm going to take this stuff and clean. The recipe is dissolve half a cup in two gallons of water but I don't need that much. I usually go off of one tablespoon for four cups of water, but that's ridiculous for this job too. I just took a pinch and about one tablespoon of water. I'll just go in here and just get it on here because uh, just get it on the wood. Let it soak in. I'll come in behind it with some uh, clean water. Just 
try to get all this stuff clean. See, it says that it it's for heavy duty cleaning. It removes greasy, sooty dirt and prepares painted surfaces for repainting. But it also um, helps the glue to stick to binding. The ultimate tight bond. So, clamp for a minimum of 30 minutes. Longer is better. Do not stress the joints for 24 hours. Remove excess wet glue with clean, damp cloth. Alright, looks like we'll just leave her overnight. Only have a little bit of squeeze out. This is that uh, Viva paper towel so it doesn't scratch the lacquer. Looks pretty good. I'll call it a day. The best technique I have for peeling this tape off is to just lift an edge with the fingernail and you break the, the glue with the other fingernail, thumbnail. You can break the glue, kind of break it up a little bit. And then when you peel it, peel it back across itself. And most of the time that keeps from peeling the lacquer up. I could easily be done with this job and give the guitar back to the guy and get my money, as it is. But at Harpeth Restoration, I try to return the guitar the customer in the original condition with the original protection which means I'm gonna put some new lacquer on here and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this little defect little missing purfling um, all kinds of arm sweat can get down in here and start causing this to delaminate in the future if I don't fill this in. So I'm going to sacrifice five minutes of my time, the bottom of a Dixie cup, a couple little shreds of this plastic material, and a couple drops of acetone. And I make a little slurry that I'm going to drop in there.
there it is. Can you tell? There it is. So I cheated a little and I just took, um, I sanded it with 600 grit sandpaper and then I colored it. It was a little bright white. I colored it with a little, I don't know, I think it was called like a colonial maple pen, a little brush tip pen. And then I put on a little uh, black. So right here I'm going to drop in a little liquid super glue. Just so when I put the lacquer on there it doesn't smudge the color. Because that black is just a little uh, pen. little ink. It's not... Uh, it's too small to deal with, you know, actually patching in a piece of binding. So I'll just deal it with it, you know, like I did. And guarantee you they're going to like that. Because that was missing before. That wasn't even part of the, the job. But I wanted to fix it because I don't want that uh, arm sweat getting in any of these cracks. You know, spilt beer down in there, anything like that. I'm going to protect this with some lacquer. I've got the three parts shellac, one part lacquer. I'm just going to brush it right along that seam and hopefully that'll seal the joint. Sounds better. Mm -hmm. 